fucking morning, goddammit. It is cardio time, goddammit. 40 fucking minutes. Which, what did I start with? 15 or 20? I think 15, right? I think 15. <laughs> it's been so long, I can't remember. So, we went from 15 to 40. 40 is the max. So, big fucking deal, right? 40 minutes of cardio. Big deal. Let's fucking do this shit, goddammit. It is 5.30 a.m. Fucking early as fuck. I have a long fucking day ahead. So I got an early start and I'm gonna be going all fucking day, goddammit. Are you doing cardio, babe? You can't, you're sick. You can't do shit, goddammit. You shouldn't I'm, even be filming right I now. I can barely breathe. You shouldn't even be filming me, goddammit. <laughs> So I've been working like a fucking lunatic. We have so much new shit going on, crazy shit, awesome shit. Um, working on three different products currently right now at the same time. Working on some new clothing ideas. And at the same time trying to keep up with my videos when Chanel is deathly ill and she was in the hospital. Uh, ER basically right and they were gonna keep you overnight but decided not to and so as you guys realize Chanel is my camera person so it's kinda hard to film videos when Chanel's in the hospital and she's sick and I'm worried about her and there's no one to even film videos if I wanted to so I understand people don't realize that I do have a life outside of um, film videos <laughs> and I try my very hardest more than you will ever imagine on keeping my videos and keeping everyone in the loop and keeping everyone on track um, but to the people that I'm trying to be really nice to the people that can't understand this I'm explaining that if Chanel's in the hospital and she's doing terrible and I'm worried about her and there's no means for me to film videos even if I didn't care about her and didn't fucking, you know, I wouldn't be able to. So please people understand that there might be a good reason why one day goes by without a video. Um, try to just think logically and realize that there could be a good reason and to talk shit or bitch or, you know, I'm, I'm really trying to help people and do them a great favor and it really sucks when people talk shit when I'm just trying to help them. And, um, there's not many people out there doing this. Most people are charging for anything that they're going to do for anyone. They're going to charge. You want to diet? I'm going to charge you. You want me to train you? I'm going to charge you. You want to watch videos? You have to go to my website. I'm going to charge you. So it'd be great if people somewhat, I know most of you do, and thank you very much, 90% of everyone out there, but it'd be great if the other 10% could possibly maybe appreciate what I'm doing and have a little understanding. That's all. So anyway, I'm currently editing Australia part three, which I have not aired yet. I'm working on it currently. And um, this is a piece I wanted to show everyone because this kid was unbelievably muscular. Like, I've never seen anything like that in my life. Like, I don't remember how old he was, but his muscle bellies, the maturity of his muscle, the striations in his delts, the striations in his triceps, the fullness and roundness in his muscles was truly unbelievable. And the video doesn't do justice. When I saw this kid in person, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. And you guys probably remember the kid Richard, uh, I can't remember his name, Little Hercules. Well, I was friends with him and his family, and 
um, the owner of Gold's Gym in Simar at the time, and I filmed with him twice. I did a, a Travis Barker commercial. Um, I think it was Boost Mobile, and he was one of the main characters in the commercial. So I spent the whole day with him, and I'm telling you, this kid is more remarkable than him, and he was fucking at the time everywhere. So I want to give him a shout out. What's his Instagram, baby? Fitness to the Max 88. Fitness to the Max 88. And I'm just going to show you a little preview of this incredible kid. <laughs> So with that thought guys, I'm getting back to work, it's going to be a long fucking day and uh, I don't know when I'm going to hit the gym but I need to get some certain shit done mandatory today. So I will be hitting the gym later this evening and um, I'm going to finish this video and part 3 will be up in the next couple days. So anyway guys, back to work. It is fucking package time, goddammit. So, let's see what the fuck I got. Are you excited, babe? I already know what it is. You do? But I am excited. Does that make you feel any better? How the fuck do you know what it is? Because I'm the one who kind of pays attention to tracking and knows some shit's coming. Is it something for you? I don't want to be fucking... No. No, it's for me? Yeah, you can oh, actually oh. be excited for yourself. Woohoo! <laughs> well, we know it's not from 5% nutrition. That's for sure. Crafted with pride. Well, that doesn't fucking tell me. Well, I'm just open it already. I'm gonna focus on the box for like next. It's time. fucking light though. So it's not that exciting because it's fucking, what is it, socks or underwear? That would order fucking soap boxers. More silk boxers. When did I order it? Um, while we were in Australia. While I was in Australia? Well, no wonder I don't remember. <laughs> Oh shit! I forgot I even ordered this shit, babe. Oh shit! Oh, check that shit out, goddammit. This is the fucking fuzzy one that they didn't have, remember? Yeah, bring it back over here. I want to get a good shot. It's a fucking fuzzy one with the leather lip and the leather leather button on top. This is the fancy motherfucking Kango hat, goddammit. Fuck that other motherfucker I've been wearing, right? This is the fucking fancy one. Look at this shit. <laughs> oh, and looky here. Oh, I just happened to get a white one too. God damn it. A white fuzzy one with a leather lip and a fucking leather cap top. This is sick as fuck. Badass. I don't remember what I paid for this shit. It doesn't even have a, tag, a price on it. You know what? Why do I pay for these things? I don't remember, baby. Huh. Pretty fucking sick. Whatever it was, it was worth it. Oh yes, I can't wait to wear that shit. And it's funny that people, most people think they're cool, but other people talking shit. My message to you is that if you guys haven't noticed, I do different shit. I don't copy what everyone else does. I guarantee I was the only motherfucker at the Australian Expo and the fucking, didn't I wear it at the... Ohio. Ohio. I wore it one day each. I, will, I guarantee I was the only motherfucker in the entire building wearing a Kingo hat. Can anyone else say that about anything? Were you the only person wearing anything? Absolutely not. Because everyone's a fucking follower. Everyone copies. I try to do shit that's different. And yeah, this shit was popular 25 years ago, but it faded out. And 25 years ago, I was wearing this shit. So I'm bringing it back, goddammit. All right, it is gym time, goddammit. You ready, babe? Yeah, I'm ready. It's late. I'm fucking exhausted. I've been working all day, but I'm fucking still going to the motherfucking gym, goddammit. Nothing will stop me, goddammit. Whatever it takes, let's fucking do this. So we are headed to the gym, and it's dark outside. So is it morning or is it night? <laughs> it is fucking night. It is late. It is 11.26 at night, and we basically just got on the freeway. <laughs> so that is going to mean that we're going to have about 
15 to 20 minutes to train. Right, babe? Yes, baby. I'm doing 85 miles an hour, which isn't that fast, but I'm not gonna risk getting pulled over and fucking not make it to the gym. Or should I say fuck it and just do 100 and have 25 minutes to train? <laughs> and possibly get your license taken away. Well, I won't do 100, I'll do like 99.9. Oh, okay. <laughs> we don't even know if that's the fucking, if that's the fucking rule here. Yeah. Right? I it mean, could we like 85 that. could be the limit. Yeah, and then or you're gonna maybe get your there is no limit way. in Florida. You can drive as fast as you want. You don't lose your license. You just get a fucking ticket. Ticket. It's fine with me. I, you know, don't give a fuck about. Well, the points is what matters. I don't even know how many points you lose your license. <laughs> I don't know, but if they were going on a point system, I have a feeling you would have lost yours a long time ago. Uh, yeah, you know what? I don't think they do that anymore. I think they just want your money. Like, they want you to keep driving and getting tickets, and then you just keep paying. I don't know. I've heard of people who have, like, multiple DUIs, so I'm pretty sure well, it's yeah, about the money at this you're point. About, yeah, that's true. That's like... Like, you know, that's a major thing. Like, I could see somebody's license being taken away over a DUI before a fucking 100 miles an hour yeah, ticket. No. Definitely. Which, I mean, they're both fucking detrimental, could both kill people, but I feel like so they're both is more serious. stupid. Yeah. So I do a lot of stupid shit, basically. Oh, wait, no, I'm not saying that you do stupid <laughs> shit. Ah! I didn't mean for it to come off like that. Sorry. Okay, you can say it. I'm well aware. So I am doing almost 90 now, but this is the bridge where they can't radar you, right? I love that you asked me like I have the answer to everything. I'm not God. I have no, we no talked idea. About it before that I don't think they can. Yeah, there's nowhere for them to be radar in you because there's they're not sitting still. They can. There's nowhere to. Park there's no in. side yeah. thingy. And as we've noticed in Florida, everyone's doing the speed limit. As soon as they hit this bridge, they fucking haul ass. Like yeah. we noticed that right away. Yeah. Like it seems like it's a known fact. I'm sure people out there will comment and let us know that, yeah, you're good. <laughs> Fucking. Either that or you, it. you've just been lucky. You're yeah. going to get pulled over and you're going to get a fat ticket. <laughs> Sooner or later. What causeway is this? Do you know? Is um, there a, name? a, I don't know, and B, I don't want to say because if there are cops that watch this shit, they're going to be all like, up your oh, ass. Oh, Rich Piano, motherfucker. <laughs> so Chanel is still sick as a dog. And yes, I have pneumonia. I haven't caught it, which is crazy. Knock on wood. And I can't catch it because we're leaving for Germany very soon. And you're a week <laughs> ahead of me. So you'll still probably be a little sick when we leave for Germany. More yeah. likely, right? Yeah, but I, I actually bought like funny little, you know those masks that people wear? I bought those because oh, they said shit. that that's best for me to wear on the plane so that I don't... Because my immune system's compromised from having pneumonia and then all the stuff that they're giving me now. Yeah, she has pneumonia, by the way. Um, we went to some place because we don't know where the fuck to go here. And they totally misdiagnosed her and gave her a prescription for co... Oh, you guys know this shit. Okay, so they, they know about the, the codeine cough gave syrup. Gave you a prescription for what codeine. What people don't realize is when you have pneumonia, if you've never had it before, it's like having an elephant sit inside your chest and then somebody else squeeze either side of you. It's very, very hard to breathe, especially when you try to sleep at night, which I haven't hardly slept in the last fucking week. So... Oh, look at there. there's some shit going oh, wow. on here. Look at this shit. Show people. Oh, man, I gotta slow down though. It's gonna fuck us up. someone was speeding on the causeway. Oh, I would say so. Fucking semi truck. Oh, shit. On its side. Oh, fuck. Well, it looks like we better stay in downtown Tampa because we ain't going to be getting across too soon. Oh, so anyway, the codeine cough syrup. So long story short, codeine makes your breathing harder. So they prescribed me fucking codeine cough syrup after I freaking went in and told them I'm pretty sure I have pneumonia. So... Long story short, the ER said that codeine cough syrup could have killed me if I kept taking it with as bad as my pneumonia is. So, the little urgent care place I went to basically didn't want to listen to me and could have killed me. But I'm okay now. Thank you, ER. Yeah, that's some crazy shit. So, 
and they said you're gonna be sick for what another like it's gonna take like three weeks or some shit. Yeah, it to takes three to four weeks to get um, all of the pneumonia out of your lungs. And you're on antibiotics. You're on all kinds of shit. Yep. And uh, vaporizing every fucking all kinds of shit. And so you're still gonna be sick when we go to Germany, but you're gonna be better. Yeah. Oh, and the banging on the chest thing. Yeah, that's a real hoot. You have to cough and literally punch yourself in the rib cage at the same time to break up what's in there so that you can breathe. <clears throat> but I'm sure I'll be better by the time we leave. My antibiotics are really strong, so. Uh, where do I go, babe? I don't know. Yeah, you go over there to the left. Hear that knocking by any chance? That tapping. I'm trying my hardest tap, to tapping. ignore it. I'm trying my hardest to think that people don't hear that knocking. Tapping on your chamber door. Yeah. Well, I think it's pretty fucking obvious and everyone hears that shit. So let me explain it to everyone. Now, this is your warning. Is when you go and get your car wrapped, not this time. The guy that did my car flat, sat in black, did an awesome job and knows his shit. And what the fuck is the business called? Because I need to give him a shout out. Um, uh, addiction. 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 I believe he's in Tampa, Florida. Yes. He did an incredible job. Now, the people that wrapped this car blue had their head in their asses, like most places that wrap cars. And let me explain to you what they do. They know how to wrap a car, but they don't know how to put the car back to fucking together, right? So they take it apart. They have no knowledge of Maseratis, Bentleys, Corvettes, whatever kind of car they don't know anything about them all they know how to do is fucking put a sticker on the car so they take the car apart and they have no knowledge of how to put it the fuck back together so as a couple days goes by your car starts fucking falling apart as i rear in this fucking guy your car starts falling oh apart. the street's blocked off here you oh can't, wonderful you can't go uh, yeah, how are you going to go to the gym? Oh, this is wonderful. We're already fucking late. Show people. So, I'm just going to follow the majority of the crowd and hope they know where the fuck they're going. That's what I usually do. Whenever there's a detour in the freeway, I just follow everyone. <laughs> and hope that I'm going the right way. <laughs> I'm going to follow this asshole. It looks like he knows what he's doing. This is the way I would go. He's driving a little too slow for my taste. What the fuck is that? It's open right now. Did you see that? What is that? I have no it idea. Looked like a fucking whorehouse or some shit. <laughs> Did you see it? Didn't it look no, like that? No, I, babe, I didn't see shit. I'm, I'm looking God. at you. Yeah, this is the right way. Look, I just saw the street. That probably knocked off a minute. So now we have 14 minutes to train. <laughs> Drop set time, goddammit. Giant set, 100 rep sets. Whatever it takes. I've had worse situations. Oh yeah. Back to the clicking. <laughs> Back to the knocking. I kind of forgot about it for a second. 
Okay, so wait, is this the right street? I gotta turn around. You have to turn around. This is to get back to the freeway. Oh my god. I gotta turn around and then I gotta go. I gotta turn around and then go back and then go right, right? Uh, I think so. Well, why didn't I just do U-turn there? All the cops are fucking blocking the street. There's no cops out right now. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking do it right here. Oh shit, I fucking went too fast. All right, I'm gonna do it right here. But, okay, we'll slow down. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's just pull a fucking crazy ass U-turn in front of a big ass semi -truck. Oh shit, is that a cop? No. I don't know. No, all the cops are fucking busy dealing with the fucking accidents accident everywhere. Or whatever, yeah. Where are you going? I got it. Where do I go? That way. Oh. This is like a freeway, though. Well, it says here Ellsboro Avenue, so. Jesus, you found a little, little fucking slip of the fucking tires. Uh, just a tad, <laughs> and there was a fucking semi truck headed our way, so I was like, hey, uh, Which way, baby? go to the right. Okay, that's that fucking, now I know where we are. Okay, sweet. And look, there's a cop behind us. Okay, back on track, goddammit. Wendy's. Click, 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 motherfucker. Oh, anyway, back to what I was saying. That is the blinker that is on the side mirror. Um, it pops out and fucking clinks against the door and I thought I had it fixed, and obviously it's not fixed. It was fixed for a while, and now it's back to being fucked. But I had the car before I have it wrapped, and it never had any problems. Also, another thing they did is they put the door handle on back on wrong, and so I had to get the door handle fixed, which costed about $600 that the people that did the wrap fucked it up. So lesson learned, if you're gonna get your car wrapped, take it to like platinum, you know, in LA or somewhere that wide body kings. I'm just naming some some companies that are known to be the shit and fucking, you know, do a good job and they're going or take it to dip what is it? Addiction. Addiction. That guy did a great job. So just make sure that you take it to someone who knows what the fuck they're doing. It looks like it's closed. Jesus Christ. Oh, that is pretty fucking sick right there. Yeah, I can't get footage of it in here. I gotta do it when I get out. Oh, shit. That's a fucking S-Class that is sick as fuck. And you got you already know who owns that. Oh, I'm sure. Right? Yeah. Well, the funny car is in here right now. Who so. owns it? The New York Yankees. Yes, the New York Yankees train here. And... Whenever there's a sick car, there was Lamborghini. There was a sick ass, crazy fucking like fucking SWAT van looking thing. Don't even know what the thing. fuck it is. And they always have sick at well, New York Yankees. What they make forty million a year? I didn't know. Should have been a baseball player. That is a sick ass S class Mercedes. That's probably the sickest S class I've ever seen in my life. So let's show these people this sick ass fucking S class. And then I'm gonna take this Maserati and throw it in the fucking garbage. Okay. Well, let's and by the way, my Bentley's that. back in the fucking shop. God damn it. Yeah, and it's gonna cost about nine grand. Hee <laughs> Wow. <laughs> yeah, I didn't tell you that, did I? No, you didn't. Yeah, I, I didn't the, know. My I got the cost. text today. My yeah. guess was gonna be six. Yeah. yeah, it's always at least five, but yeah, nine grand. You know. Anyway, I'm gonna pay more for fixing that car in six months than I paid for the fucking car. Anyway, all right, let's get out of here. Ready? Okay. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Uh, medium rare, please. Medium rare? Yeah. Okay. And can I get that tossed with blue cheese instead of the vinaigrette? Yeah. Okay. And one more thing, can I get the steak burger? Okay, and 
you want that one cooked? Medium rare. Okay. And can I add cheese? Add what to it? Uh, cheese. Yeah. And how, how big is that burger? How many ounces? I'm not sure, but they're, they're pretty dirty to size. Okay, and it just comes with, uh, does it come with like mayonnaise and ketchup or? Yeah. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. I'm as long. Maybe just put if they could put mayonnaise and ketchup on it. If and just in case they don't. Mayonnaise and ketchup. Yeah. And then of course everything else. Tomato. I don't know if they put onion, but yeah. And I believe that will be it. Oh. And also, I'm one one more thing. Sorry to be picky. Uh -huh. Can I get the French fries extra crispy with no salt? All right, that'll be it. And how long? I'm gonna put it in view right now. Um, I don't know, give them at least 20 minutes, because we got a little crowd in here now. Okay, and when, I've never been there, so when I come in, where do I, what, what, where do I go, or what? I'm gonna actually give this to the bartender, because if you check, if you come to the door and check your order and it's wrong, I can't help you. So, I'm gonna give it to the bartender, so when you come in, go to the bar to pick up your order, so if you check it, something's wrong, she can fix it for you. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Alrighty, bye-bye. Okay, so I have to confess, we walked in the gym and we had 10 minutes to work out. So I still thought in my head, I can still work out in 10 minutes. <laughs> I can just do fucking drop sets, no rest. And I was still determined that I'm gonna fucking work out. 10 minutes or not, I'm gonna fucking make this work. I drove all, this is a fucking, it was a 20 minute drive from our house, you know? So, um, I was walking and a guy I know from the gym, really cool guy, really nice guy. I've talked to him, you know, three or four times and know him from the other powerhouse. So, he says, hey Rich, and he's on the treadmill with the female. And I said, I said, hey bro, I said, I got fucking 10 minutes to work out. I can't waste a minute talking to you. Not a minute. I said, I, I need every fucking second for my workout. So he says, no, I just wanted to tell you that I know you can't find any place to eat late at night. So if you come to, if you come to my bar, we're open until 2 a.m. and we have great food. So I'm like, oh, well, wait a minute. Maybe I do have a minute. <laughs> right, babe? Like, yeah. good food? Until 2 a.m.? Okay, I have a minute. So we walked over to him and... The one that makes you go straight. So we walk over and I say, okay, what's the name of the place? Like, tell me quick. So he says, okay. And he says, I own a bar and it's open till two and we have a great fucking menu. We had five star menu, fucking steaks, fucking lobster, like everything. And like, and I'm like, really? Open till two? And he's like, yeah. So I'm like, okay, what, like, what? What's the name of the bar, you know, or the club, or the club? That's what he called it, a club, right? Mm -hmm. What's the name of the club? So, I said, he said, it's called Scores. Okay, I've heard of Scores. <laughs> I'm sure everyone out there has heard of Scores. Um, scores is a very, very, very popular strip joint. It's known to be upscale. I think it originated in New York, and there's one in Florida. So I'm like, okay. And um, he said they have incredible food. So I'm like, fuck, okay, this is great. And it's like right down the street on the way home from the gym. Right, babe? Right. So I'm like, fuck, okay. That, and I told him, I said, well, that was worth the minute, definitely. Now we got a good place to eat. So um, I just kind of skipped over the workout, huh? Oh, no, I'm still getting to that. So then we went to go finish the workout and I looked and I, I had, it was actually two minutes we talked, so I had eight minutes. And I realized, what am I gonna train in eight minutes? Maybe triceps, right? Maybe triceps or calves, That's or biceps. That's pretty much all I could train, or unless I just do rear delts only. 
Um, that's pretty much all I can do. And do I really want to just, you know, do that? And then what about footage? Like, am I going to do a video just on calves? Today we're training calves for eight minutes. So I kind of realized I'm not going to fucking work out. So instead we filmed a couple two cents episodes, which I've been wanting to do anyway. And that was our plan after I trained, we were going to try to film one or two two cent episodes. So we got to film, at least we filmed something. We got something accomplished and we found a fucking place to eat, right? So and all in all, it was, it was, I'm very glad we went and ended up being a good night, I believe, right? You should probably slow down a little bit. Slow down? Yep, because you're going to have to go over to your left. Right here? Yep. Okay. Shit, I just fucking cut this guy off right here. Oh, well, sorry, dude. <laughs> and now he's staying back. He's like, what? This motherfucker's drunk. What is it, like 1 a.m. right now? Monday night? Yeah, <laughs> Look, he won't no come idea. up next to me. <laughs> Watch, if he comes up, I'm going to swerve over again. <laughs> so, uh, oh, he's coming up. He's getting brave. Should I swerve? No. <laughs> I'll probably get shot, huh? No, so anyway, um, what was I saying? I don't know, I'm talking about finishing your two cents or some shit. So we finished the two cents and uh, uh, we finished the two cents and then we were going to order fruit from Scores. So we called it in and uh, ordered it and the menu's fucking awesome. Like the menu is, it's pretty, it's like fucking eating a Capitol Grill or, or you know, any nice Capital Grill, Mastro's, fucking, you know, any nice place, right? Yeah, a really nice menu. Same shit. We haven't been to Burns yet. No, we have we not been to Burns. We gotta try Burns. That's supposed to be the one of the hot steak places. So anyway, um, we ordered the food. It's gonna take 20 minutes, so we gotta fucking, you know, wait for it to be ready. And, um, we didn't really feel like going in and sitting in the strip joint waiting for the food to be ready, you know, it's not our deal, nothing personal, but you know, so like they called me and said, your food's ready, like where the fuck are you? And I'm like, oh, we're right out front, you know, so uh, we went in and got it and um, I have to say that the food smells hella good. Yeah, right? it smells really good. It smells really good. Oh, so can we go to Wawa to get the new Ben and Jerry's? Yeah, it smells really good. So um, I want to give a shout out, and I can't fucking remember his name right now, and I feel like a fucking dick because <laughs> I've talked to him like fucking four or five times. But oh, and uh, the, you should probably explain the car then. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> right. So we're in the gym, and there's like there's literally like four people in the gym. So I'm like, wait a minute. I don't think there was any New York Yankees there, babe. And I'm like, whose fucking car was that? Like, whose car was that? Like, seriously, whose car was that? And then I'm like, oh, hello. If this guy owns scores, <laughs> no fucking brainer. So, uh, sick ass car, by the way, brother. Um, probably, it's definitely the sickest S Class I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot of S Classes. And um, that's definitely the sickest one I've ever seen. And I hope that is your car. Um, props. So, yeah, that's pretty funny, right? Mm hmm. So, uh, so yeah, we're gonna get some goddamn ice cream and then we're gonna go home and fucking grub on the food, right? Yes. And, uh, and let you guys know what we think. And I'm sure it's fucking some good ass shit because the menu was fucking insane. So as of now, I recommend <coughs> if you need some good food in the Tampa area and it's late, that's the place. So anyway, um, let's go check out this new bin. And what flavors they have? Oh, the coffee. <laughs> I'm trying really hard not talk. to. Urban bourbon and truffle caruffle is the two that they have that we can try. Truffle caruffle. <coughs> the fuck is that? Sounds good. <coughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you're feeling so shitty. I can only sucks. breathe out of one of my lungs right now, so really bear sucks. with me. Alright, let's go check this shit out. Okay. Okay, so I have got to show you guys the new fucking Ben and Jerry's for the people out there that 
don't know about it. I've been talking a lot of shit about Ben and Jerry's. I've been talking about Hagen Dazs, but they came out with some new flavors. So let's check this shit out. God damn it. Okay, we have Urban Bourbon. It is burnt cinnamon ice cream with almonds, fudge brownie flakes, and bourbon caramel swirls. So I have to say that this one sounds pretty fucking good. Do you agree, babe? Yeah, that sounds really good. I guess you agree because you're the one that made me fucking pull into Wawa at one in the morning <laughs> to get this fucking ice cream. I hate to break it to you, honey, but it's 2.15. At 2.15 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number two on the list is truffle carfuffle? <laughs> is that right? No, truffle caruffle. Truffle caruffle. Is that right? Yeah, like the truffle shovel, truffle caruffle. Okay. Vanilla ice cream with roasted pecans, fudge chips, and a salted chocolate ganache swirl. <laughs> ganache. Ganache swirl. What the fuck is ganache? It's a certain kind of chocolate. It's like a thicker chocolate. Um, it's more rich than like just a chocolatey swirl or a chocolate syrup. Of course. It's a fancy chocolate, right? It's, it's kind of like... Um, you can imagine fudge and more of like a, I don't know, like a swirly sort of state, like something you could put in a swirl, like or you, like what you fill a truffle with. What's inside of a truffle? That really thick, rich chocolate. That's that's truffle chocolate. That's ganache. You know what I say, people? It's a fucking chocolate swirl. Okay, enough with the fancy bullshit. It's a chocolate swirl. Okay, ganache. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, better put these fuckers in the freezer. Still got to eat our fucking food. And what do you think the chances are that I can fucking make it to the freezer? Balancing this shit from the bottom one, babe. What do you think? I can't even fucking... Yeah, it's not going to happen with you. Oh, really? A mm -hmm. challenge? Do I hear a challenge? <laughs> you hear a challenge. Do I hear a fucking challenge? Goddamn. Ready, go. Don't laugh, cheater. I'm not cheating. I need fucking silence. Does making a funny face help you? Yeah. Helps me tremendously. Babe, you're fucking me up. How am I fucking you up? I'm not doing shit, I'm just following you. You want me to stay in one spot? <laughs> Don't fucking poo me. <laughs> God damn it. You're like walking off into the darkness over there. I did better than you thought. <laughs> did I not? You did. All right, cut. Let's go eat. Okay, so the fucking food looks awesome. It's, the, look at these fucking sides of these shrimps. Those are some fucking, those are shrimps. That's what shrimp is. Those are some serious, right, babe? <laughs> those are some serious shrimps. That's some good ass shit. The burger looks awesome. It's a thick patty. It looks like good quality meat. Um, I can't eat the bun or the french fries, so that's going to fucking suck. Um, I forgot to say no french fries and bun, <laughs> so now I'm torturing myself. The fries look really good. They look kind of like potato skins, like the skins are on. They look really good. Your bacon wrapped shrimp looks really, it's hickory bacon wrapped shrimp. Looks really good. And your salad, the steak on your salad is obviously really good quality steak and they ask you how you want the steak cooked. So it's actually a real good quality steak they're cooking for your salad. I have to say this place is the shit. You ready to grow, baby? Mm-hmm. So we found a fucking nighttime place that's open till two in the morning, right? Yeah, it's perfect. It's yeah. the shit. All right, let's fucking turn on some TV and fucking 
What movie we got to watch again? We started watching last night. What was it? Legend. Legend. It's a British, like mafia movie, right? It's Two about twin brothers. The craze. The craze. The craze. What's that? That's the brothers. That was their last name. They were the craze. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. It was like Reggie and Ronnie or something. Oh. It was pretty good so far, as far as we got. Right? Did you watch yeah. the whole thing? No. I shut it off after you passed out, and then I went back to watching Netflix. Yeah, I was fucking, I was fucking out. I took fucking Ambien. I can't fucking sleep, so. I took one and a half Ambien. One wolf isn't enough. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I'm a big motherfucker. I need one and a half Ambien. But, like I said before, the sleep product is going to be out soon. And I tried a sample, and it was awesome. But that's all I got was a sample, goddammit. Give me a fucking bottle of it so I don't have to take this shit no more. I need that shit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I need to eat. All right, let's do this. Let's eat, goddammit. Throw that movie in and let's do this.